All right, users, what's up? So, I got the Kershaw Tremor back. I made the video before bitching about Kershaw making shitty knives. And, you know, obviously I wasn't the only one that felt that way. Because I got a lot of comments on that video to where a lot of people feel the same way. And my point is this, all right? Everybody says you get what you pay for. That's all well and good. But I personally don't settle on shit. I'm not going to buy something and it's shit and I'm just going to keep it. It ain't happening. Even if it's 30 bucks, 20 bucks, I'm not doing it. You know, times are tough. Every penny counts. And if I'm giving my money to a big company, I expect them, whether it's a $30 knife or a $300 knife, to be what I want it to be. So I got the knife back. You can see the blade centering is right where it should be. They were kind enough to put the pocket clip on for me for tip-up carry. And looks good. Nice stone wash blade on it. I really like the knife. I bought it for a camping fishing knife because I think I could do some filleting with it, some cleaning, stuff like that, food prep. I really like the handle on it. Fits good in your hand. And that's why I bought the knife. I bought it for a user. So if I beat it up, it's not going to make a difference. I really like the stone wash on it. Real quick, the steel on this is the uh, 8CR13MOV. I think it's the same stuff that's on my Spyderco Persistent. Got the G10 handles with the uh, steel liners in it. Lockup is really good on it. And that's the only jimping is on that right there for your index finger. Not up here. But really nice knife though. Big. Three quarter. Three and three quarter on the blade. Nine inch total. And five and a quarter when it's closed. I like the pocket clip. And it rides really well for being a big knife in your pocket. So I just want to say thanks Kershaw. And just, you know, everyone out there. You know, if you buy something and it isn't right, man. Make them fix it. Make it right. Because the more money that they waste on shipping and sending it back and stuff like that. Sooner or later they're going to tighten up their quality control. You know, don't settle for shit. At least that's me. I'm not. And maybe when the weather breaks, what I'm going to do is I got some uh, some G10 here. Make some scales for that maybe. Goof around. Got some liners. But I got to wait for the weather to break because I can't do this in the house. This stuff is toxic. It gets everywhere. So we might do a little uh, pimpage on it. But... There you go. Got it back. Really happy with it. Can't wait to uh, put it through its paces. Wee little bit of blade play on the side to side, but none up and down. It, it really is a solid knife. And if they would just make them right in the first place, which I'm sure they do, but I'm sure that, you know, 20-30% of them are not right. So, you know, let's get it up to 90%. If you buy it and it ain't right, call them up and tell them. Make them pay for the shipping and send it back and make sure it's right. Detent's real good on it. So, I'm a happy camper for now. Alright, Yenzers. Have a positive day. Talk to you later.